Yeah. So that's this. There's a small amount of like one window in the bedroom that is going to have open air, and I can't black that out because I need air to come in. Yeah. And then everything else is blacked out. And then what also I do is I have to crack the bedroom door a little bit so that there's airflow to the rest of the house because you can't just have the air won't come in in the same way unless you have cross ventilation. So yeah. you either have to have two windows open so it cross ventilates or one air, one window, and then like the door cracked or something. So that's what I'm kind of working with now in terms of the, in terms of the darkness in the room. And then I want it cold. And then I think about like, obviously blue light is a huge thing before I go to sleep. I try to avoid that, like the plague. Um, I'm going to sleep at the same time every night if I can do it. Obviously switching time zone is hard with that. What about, uh, do you notice a difference like when you're in Costa Rica versus here, like perhaps with even with like non-native EMF and sleep? I think there's, yeah, yeah. I want to talk about that for a minute. Again, it's, it's just anecdote, right? Yeah. Um, I've never seen a published study on basically RF EMF and mm -hmm. sleep. So radio frequency EMF, non-native EMF is just the big term that encompasses everything that's non-native. So yeah. it could be in the RF band which is most cell phones, routers, uh, Wi-Fi routers, and computers. Or it could be in the ELF band, which would be like outlets and magnetic fields. And so I think about both of those when I travel now, and people probably love this in the comments. But So I travel with a tri-field meter. So these are great. The tri-field is awesome because it does magnetic field and RF. And the magnetic field is something that I didn't think about much. And again, this is just anecdote, but I sleep better when the ELF is low also. So okay. ELF is the magnetic field and you can just turn the tri-field meter to the magnetic field and the units are milligauss, right? The RF band, your microwatts per meter squared. So that's RF versus milligauss. So it's like magnetic versus uh, the RF band and the EMF. And so what you don't want is a lot of magnetic field and most houses should be below one milligauss and the airbnb i'm staying at right now in santa monica is like 0 0.1 0 0.2 but i have been in houses randomly i stayed in a house in miami that was four to five milligauss and i'm thinking what wh why it must be the wiring in the house or a certain type of power line that's outside because if you take a magnetic field meter and you go under a high voltage power line you will see that go to 10 to 20 milligauss or higher and so we don't, there hasn't been a ton of research on magnetic fields, but there is observational research that children who grow up near high voltage power lines, which have an average of three to four milligauss, have higher rates of, I believe it's leukemia and other uh, uh, blood cancers. Hmm. So this is, it's, that's a well established that high voltage power lines are associated with higher rates of childhood, I believe it's blood cancers in children.